Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumaticraft Repressurized to Minecraft 115. Today, as you can see, we're going to be doing the assembly controller. This basically provides quite a lot of stuff for us. The next level anyway, so we get to it really makes you sorry, it really allows you to get to the advanced stuff. So let's get started. So here are the bits we need. We need an assembly laser or drill. Um uh, assembly iron unit, we need two of those because one's an input, one's the export. Then we need an assemb assembly platform and an assembly controller. So let's start with that one, shall we? I need some compressed iron. I've got a lot of the bits prepared, but probably not all of them. I've got 30 compressed iron, that's fine, probably. So let's start with this one. This is the one that you basically connect the air to. With the assembly controller, you connect the air to that one and it should or the compressed air so that's the one that basically does the work <clears throat> uh, is the interface so we also need an assembly platform for that we need some pneumatic cylinders I've got some already prepared but it's basically six pieces of plastic two compressed iron and one of these cannon barrels we built one of the cannon, cannon barrels before so let's just make some of these I'm not sure how many we need I've got 10 so now I've got 12 So we need two for this machine, plus a PCB, plus plastic. I use lots of plastic in this, by the way. So we've got the assembly platform. We need to make two of these. So what am I missing? Two hoppers. Production line, exactly. <laughs> I've got one hopper in here. Oops, try, try that again. <laughs> this time hitting in the right place. We need another hopper. So we need four, two of those and five pieces of iron. Let's just get that done. Uh, I should have had a really didn't think about that too much but this one have one craft extra is not a big deal so let's just press the recipe for this one and then we can shift to click it in and then we've got our two hoppers we need two of these and then we convert one to the other so it doesn't really matter which one we're going to do so so we can get two of these no problem and then we want to split one to the other to the import one so this is export this becomes import it's just like that and then we need the bits which start to get expensive so we've done that we've done this so all we need to now is an assembly laser and an assembly drill. So the assembly drill is one diamond with what we've got already. So let's get a diamond out of here. And I think the, the other one is not... Uh, one diamond. They're very similar recipe as it happens. Oh, oops, too far. Let's click this into place. And the final component of these is this one. So we just need a block of glass and I don't think it's red stain particularly but hopefully if it is it doesn't make any difference how many of these have we got one short typical anyway let's just see what what it tells me about it so let's just get on with it this is the assembly laser so we need another a craft of these plus oh it doesn't need to be red stained glass okay that's no big deal I think we can do that very easily we've got plenty of dye at the moment in fact the dye is in this chest at the back here um, I'm going to have to move something out of the way. Let's take one of these. I don't know if we can just do one piece of red stain dust. Because, no, I can't. I've got to do it the other way around. Okay, so I need eight pieces of glass. In total. So we end up with seven pieces of red stain glass that we don't really need. But it's not a big deal. We can use it mostly in place of any glass that we need in recipes. So there we go. So now we need two more of these. And I'm missing six pieces of plastic. So I've got to go and make some plastic. Wow. Let's go and do that. What time of day is it? Six o'clock. That's no problem. Um, I'm not sure if I've made any changes since last time. I don't think I have. Um, maybe this little bit of stuff I've been doing some work on. This should actually provide pressure if I... If I turn this on, no, so I don't think there's any pressure difference in these two at the moment. So you can see it's got 4.5 bar in there. So I need to turn on this valve in like that. Oh, get a lot of lag when I do that. Strange. So we need to make sure this has got to about temperature. Oh, it's 214 already. Let's just put those two in there. So we've got two pieces of plastic out of that. We should get another piece of plastic somewhere. 
and I think it's in here. It looks like this is empty actually. Just, let's just try it. Oh yeah, we've got some more plastic in there, great. So we do have enough plastic to, to make some more. And it's been nice to me at the moment, it's actually given me two per. It wasn't the other day, so maybe we'll need some more anyway, so let's just get some more out of here. While it's while it's powered up as it were. Is that one only give me one? Oh, that would give me one too, never mind. I think sometimes if it gets too cold, this doesn't work efficiently. Is that it? No, nope, got two more. And maybe some more. Yeah. Is that it now? Let's just have a look. Yes, that's now finished. So we can turn this one off so it can, so it can warm up again and doesn't use any more power. In fact, the drones are working quite nicely now. So they're, they're, they should be filling up these. They are. Look, it's got five charcoal in here and it's got 3000 LPG which is enough for a, quite a reasonable amount I think that's enough for about 30 buckets because one bucket of LPG makes 10 um, plastic sheets uh, pl molten plastic so that we can finish this off great just checking I make sure I've got enough inventory space so we needed the, the laser don't we so we needed two of these and that should be enough to make the laser I'm actually not used to, <laughs> to using memorized crafting recipes. Okay, but it's not completely finished yet because we also need to have a look at, let's have a look at the uses of this. So we can make, with a laser, we can make from pressure chamber valves, we can make advanced tubing. Now pressure chamber valves, the recipe for there's two recipes. So we can make it like this, and that will give us 16. Or we can use this with the drill so this is basically one block of compressed iron will give us 20 so it's actually a better value for money so to speak than this one because you're using 8 for 16 so as you can see you'd get 9 pieces would then give you 18 so it's a little bit cheaper this way without using the pipe which in fact takes ooh, about an eighth of a quarter of a, a quarter of an ingot doesn't it so that's that one so that's a lot cheaper but we need these now to get this we can we can put two assembly lasers together and make that assembly laser and assembly drill but we can also get it from the amatron tablet with 13 uh, 14 emeralds will give us one of these another way you can it didn't say you can do villager trading on that one did it i think you can also do villager trading for that if you're lucky but i'm not 100 percent sure about that so let's go and get the Amadron tablet out and make sure it's charged up. It's here, it's charged up, fantastic, great. So we should be able to go and get this to do some work for us. I do remember, it's night time, I'll come tell you what, I'll be back in a second. Now I do not remember where I've set the chest up for this, I may not have it in fact anymore. Oh yes, there you are, look, it's in this chest. Great. So we can put some emeralds in here. And then we can right click it and see what we can do. So we need this one, as it says, 14 emeralds. In fact, the one thing I haven't told you about yet is I needed to make some capacitors. In order to make capacitors, we'll just go straight for this one, I think it's probably the best thing to do. Right click it to select one, place order. And so the drone will come along from here, I think. There he comes. And he'll take away. That's a logistics drone that's coming in here, isn't it? Oh, it's an orange one. Logistics drones are generally red, so it should disappear over that. And it comes back. <laughs> I like how he despawns there. Great. So we now have the assembly laser and drill com combination. Cheapest to do it that way, by the way. Anyway, so I need to put this down somewhere. As you can see, my spaces are looking a little bit crowded. But I suppose we could do it here, can't we? Because we've got a connection and that would be, that would be fine. So all we need to do is to put the uh, controller beside this like this. So we can right click the controller onto here and that will basically join up. 
So then we can connect the boxes to this. Now what's a good idea when you're doing this is to put an we need an assembly IO unit export import. I think we'll do it this way around. So we'll put the export device here like this. And beside that it needs an inventory. So we need I've got a lot of lag again. I'm not sure nine frames per second. I'm not sure why. Um but I need to go and make two chests. I'll be back in a second with two chests. Right, I've got that. So that goes down there. The next thing we need is the assembly platform. So we put the assembly platform down in the middle. Like this. And then beside that you want the drill and the laser. It doesn't matter which way around they go, of course. It's uh, fairly irrelevant. I put that one down there and then they'll put this one in here. And we drill and then we can put the export one on the other side of this you can of course put it over here and then it probably reach into that chest but for the sake of linearity as it were i'm going to put it down here like that and i'm going to put the chest beside it over here like this so that's basically it already set up i don't think it needs anything else let's have a look it's got enough pressure that's great now it needs to drill in it so we put the drill in now it's green no problems status we've got everything in it that's great and it's got enough pressure so everything's green green so let's go and make something with this let's go back i guess the first thing we would want to make would be some pressure tubes advanced pressure tubes so, but just to be on the safe side let's just have a look at the uses of this and see what we can do so we can now make these amorphic tiles and we can make them this is the important one unassembled pcbs that's pretty important. Redstone's a red dye, well, and probably the hardest way to make um, red dye ever, but there we are. And then we can have pressure chambers from blocks. But then you might probably want to just take out the, the both bits because it'll convert these into those. So directly into that. So we've got two things to make. We can have an empty PCB and this, but we'll do a block of we'll do a block of compressed iron. I've got 13 iron with me, that's just enough. Maybe there's some in this chest over here. Yeah, I've got four blocks. I could actually take these four blocks and take them along and put them in here. So we put them in the imp now uh, which one's this? I've forgotten to be honest with you. Export. So we put them in this side here like this. And then it should start to work. As you notice, it is extremely slow when it comes and does this process. Um, it's almost unbearably slow. <laughs> so what we generally need to do with this is go and get a, a speed upgrade. We can do that. Now, I haven't got any speed upgrades ready, but I'm going to pinch them from here. Um, I think I've got about five in this crafting station. Maybe I did, in fact, when I was doing stuff, crafting station, maybe I did do that. So let's have a look. Let's right click this. And then we can put it in before that let's do it from the other side and then you can see the speed improvement I'll, i won't leave them in temp in, i won't leave them in all the time because it's now it's drilling the chambers now it's got it now it's doing the laser on the tray on the um jet pressure chambers and now we see we've got the advanced ones now they see the speed and that is significantly faster so we've got our first advanced pressure tubes how about that? tearing it up <laughs> i think i said that right so we'll leave that to do its business and we'll come back in a while i'll put those back in here for the time being but so what i would like to do is to show you then where i did the mob spawner for the um slimes i ended up with some slime seeds that was the goal because basically slimes are so we've got 58 slime essences here you only need three like that you notice it picked up two and the reason it picked up two is because if with an empty hand it always nearly always picks up two if you don't want to pick up two if you for example let's put this back you'd use an item with any it'll come in try again left hand side left hand click and it just picks up one but if you do that again with an empty hand on your left click you generally get two but the second time you only get one so that's fine 
So we can come along here and have a look at the uses of this. And we can make eight slime balls like that. We can also make, as you saw, magna creams. Um, so that's a new recipe. So I've just done that one first time. Fantastic. You'll notice I've got some emerald emerald essence in here. So I've got some emerald essence down here too. I think I've been making a few seeds between between episodes, and if not, I've been planting I've been planting them up. Is that probably full? No, I think it's got 512 is the maximum capacity of this, isn't it? We'll see. Because if it isn't, we can come along here and we can check the chest. If any of these are getting full. Ha. Ah. Let's just take those out. I don't think that it's full. I just think that the uh, logistics drones stopped working. And I think the logistics drone is probably out of air or something like that. Let's have a look. No, it's got 3.3 .3 bar. What's it stopped for? Because this is definitely not in the way. Um, tell you what. Let's just, have I got any inventory space? Yes, I've got plenty. Okay. Let's just kill it. And then put it down again. It probably worked next time. I'm not quite sure why it stopped, unless I've got enough iron seeds in here. No, have a look. Oops, try that without hitting it. So 418. So that wasn't the problem, and this isn't also the problem. So it's not, it's not stuck in any shape or form. Um, let's put the drone down. Actually, I'll put it down on top of this block here. If I can get them to do it. There you go. So now it should be off and it should start to take the stuff out of it. As it should have done in the first place. I'm not quite sure why it stopped doing it. Important on these, mind you, is the logistics default storage unit or a logistics storage frame, which means you've got to have an active store um require active provider frame over this side. It didn't work with just a requester frame on here, it was storage drawers. Just in case somebody comes to that. Now our next trick, I, Nicholas Alberts tells me this trick. He says if I right click this it should join up and make a, we have to shift, no if I shift right click it won't work will it? It's opening up and it's showing me the interface because you're supposed to be able to sh click these together maybe you have to find a different place. Oh no that just turned it around didn't it? <laughs> no I'm not sure how to do that. With the dispenser upgrade I shift right click it, it's going to left click it? No, left click it's not going to work. Well, I don't know. I'll have to test that. Test it out and see what happens. But you're supposed to be able to join small tanks together vertically. So, for example, I've got two here, haven't I? Let's just shift right click this one off this one and then come and put this on top of this one because they are the same stuff. And then I'm supposed to be able to join these two together. And then it forms a tank. Now that did do something. What happens if we click it now? Because it's also night time, I've noticed. 32 buckets and 32 buckets. I'm not sure if that's joined up together. But I suppose it's an easy way to find that. Let's just take out a bucket from here. Yes, yeah, sure enough. Look, you saw it then come out here. So those are definitely working here. So that's how you can do that. Very good. Thank you very much for that tip. Now that basically means I've got to move this frame out of the way. I think I can do that with this. Can I shift right click this? Yes I can. Good. Shift right click the frame with the logistics configurator and then we can put it on the top because then that will get dumped into that block there. It's night time. I'll be back in a second. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and visit this this slime spawn um, spawner that I built. In this pack I've got a mod and it's called Bounding Box Overlay, I think. We'll see it in a minute. If just actually I can press the key, we can have a look at it. Because it, for some reason or other, I have to do this every time I start the game. So if I go to Options, Controls, and then look down here for Bounding Box. Bounding Box out, Outline Reloaded. Just reset this and come back here and then press the, the key. I'm just pressing the um, single quote key. And then it'll work. Done. So I'll see you in a second when I'm there. It's just behind the um, the spawner. Well, it's just down here, but let me show you bounding box overlay. What it does is it basically highlights different features. And this one here is, in fact, is a chunk. You can see these blue green areas here, 
slightly high up if I just turn it off and turn it on again it will goes up to the height you're at sort of one block below it and you can see here there's actually three slime chunks in a in a square and then there's one that's not slime chunk so let's just turn that off you can actually press um, the G key with it so if you hold down that and press the G key you get the colors so you can see spawn chunks lazy chunks fortresses uh, spawnable blocks spawning spheres whatever those are. I'm not quite sure what they are but the one you I was looking at just then was the slime chunks so if I turn it off um, it disappears can you see that again I do have to turn them on again let's just turn it on again uh, and then turn it off and on you can see they're going through that if you're not sure what they are you can just turn it off like that and you see they disappear the red ones not sure what these are spawning spheres not sure spawn, ch uh, spawn chunks okay do you know what? I don't know what a spawn chunk is. I'll have to look up, find out what it is. It's very handy. It tells you about villages and all the rest of it. So let's just turn that off and go down here. I started to make a pathway and then I decided it was probably quicker to go with, with ladders than trying to turn all the way around up these stairs. So it should be here. And what I've discovered covered is actually quite a lot of mobs around as it happens but this was another I think I found another mine here let's just pray let's just press um, J and have a look at the, the yes there's another mine straight on from where I am something else to explore that was an enderman <laughs> so I just used to st I just stood here with my knife waiting for them to come out and then I just sort of ground them. If, you, if you press this I think you can see it these green ones by the way are different this is mountains so this will be a different biome this is the border of biomes it's still sort of wooded mountains okay so you can see the difference in here so that's what this one was and now I'll go back now to the other spawner because I finished this off and it actually looks really it's actually really it's actually good now for us to take the title I don't need those in there I'm going to turn off this and I'll see you in a second by the other spawner. It didn't take very long, by the way, to get the slime seeds because one giant um, slime will break into four and you get one of the 40 that you need for the seed. Um, and then, of course, the four break into another four, which gives you six. Uh, you basically get around about 16 plus for a giant slime of course small slime medium slime you it's about four maybe five depending on what how many they break up into but um, fairly easy and you get them fairly quickly now with this one here I have I can't remember if I made any changes to it I've got a bed that's good oh I did yes <laughs> I did build an enchanting area here so if I want to go and do some enchanting I've got now a level 30 enchant type thing in here so what I did with this differently is I only really needed to come to this area. There's no bobs in here at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. But we can come along back here and have a look at the back side of it. We did all of this before and I think I moved this. It's got no coal in it at the moment, but I brought it up to about three bar or something like that. So I think you can put four um, coal in it. And it does use up the pressure quite quickly when it's actually going. So it doesn't need any more. It didn't need any complicated redstone to get this to work. I probably can demonstrate it actually. Let's put in four of these. Something's leaking. What's leaking? Ah, yes, maybe there's a leak. Shame if there is. <laughs> So this one blew. Okay, this has lost something. Oh yes, <laughs> it's got 19 bar in here, so I can't do it that way. <laughs> um, I forgot about this to be honest with you. There we go. So this has got 19 bar in it, and of course, therefore, I'd need to put a regulator tube to connect these two together. I don't have one with me, but this is the electrostatic compressor with this very small bit of. Um, uh, iron it should have about I don't know 125 pieces of iron to make this efficient but as you can see it's got um, 
enough pressure in there so 90.79 so that would be quite sufficient for lots of things so we actually have got I didn't realize that we could actually build an advanced because this is equivalent to an advanced one without having an advanced bit anyway so that's that so what I could do now is just I should double check this pressure actually before I go downstairs and have a I think I've got about five more minutes before I'd like to stop the episode not enough pressure now but let me see how much we've actually got coming in I don't want to use that one use this one probably another couple of pieces of charcoal in there it doesn't matter if I've got the press security upgrade here and here so we're not there's no big deal there's snow oh interesting I didn't realize it snowed so I'll go right down to the bottom and then I'll wait for some mobs to come and you can see it's actually very effective it was, it was designed for both creepers and spiders so I'll see in a few seconds so as you can see mobs have spawned so we can actually go and have a quick look at the mobs it might be a bit dangerous because of creepers but after this I'll just go back here and have a quick look up oops yes there are plenty of creepers around there <laughs> now they've come this way but of course the pressure will also be pushing them along maybe we can have a look at that somewhere you see it's already reached this level so it's pushing them and they should carry on being pushed 0.8 bars not we've not actually got enough pressure why not so the pressure's going down 0.8 bar. maybe i do need to put some speed upgrades into this one i haven't got any with me normally it's it has enough pressure i'll tell you what we'll do put all of this in for the time being and wait and I'll wait for a few seconds to see how it builds up the pressure uh, of course putting more coal in doesn't charcoal in doesn't help but it does keep it going and it should increase this pressure to more than eight bar at the moment it's still not doing very well there's probably too many mobs in there I've not thought about it, it does use up a lot of air pressure so maybe I do need to have a more advanced one or speed it up or maybe a second one so of course to get the creepers to come to us there's two ways to do it oh there's a spider I can't reach this oh, I might be able to reach the spider actually you can sometimes reach the spiders see there he is if I'm lucky no I can't reach him later on when there's enough pressure in here we can do that because they're pushed to the they're pushed to the ground. And of course we can force the creepers to come along here, but I do tend to get stuck here somewhere. So let's just go up and then. They should see me and they should come towards me. They're not seeing me at the moment. Do I need to be a bit higher up? You see they're getting pushed. Can I reach that spider? No. Can I reach that spider? No. Unfortunately, the creepers will blow, <laughs> blow up. Well, that's... Come on, I need more pressure. I'll, I'll have to get some more pressure involved in this. I'll tell you what, I'll do that and come back in a few seconds. Right. I've been away and I've come back again. I've, what I've got is I've built another air compressor. I've built a regulated tube module. And I picked up the advanced pressure tubing. So what we can of course do to make this go faster is we can, at the moment it's three bar, we can put in speed upgrades of course. <laughs> that will make it go up reasonably fast. Have a look, take this out. And you can see that the air in here, the speed it's going up is so like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's put in these in here. And you'll see it's going up very rapidly now, both the pressure and that. So we'll take those out because we probably don't need that much in it. The other way to do it is, of course, to add another compressor down here. I would have to remove this. That's no big deal. We can remove this. It's not so important anyway. I was going to do. I was going to use it for. Um, oops! Don't want to do that. There's the tubing here. Now I'm losing all the air I put in it. Try again. There we go. <laughs> I thought I could remove that without having to break the thing. So we can also put the other compressor down here like this. And of course, the disadvantage of doing this is. Um, I then have to go and make this area a bit wider because I can't get over this once I've done this. I wonder. No, nope, I can't. Oh, maybe I could put it on top. 
like that and then it should be able to bring one piece of tube down here like this and it should just link in sure enough it does so we can then put some coal into this one take out some of this I haven't got a oh, maybe not such a good idea I haven't got a, a safety module in here so it probably would blow up <laughs> well that's one way to do it but I'm not going to do it that way I'm going to do it the other way or the third way and I'm going to have to wait for more mobs to spawn what we can do here is we can block this off here because I'll probably put one piece of advanced pipe it would join into this and then would break this would then blow up so what we need to do is to remove this one here so that we basically come down here like that and block that one off and then we can remove this one then we can put advanced pressure tubing but I would like to put the advanced pressure tubing in here I probably need to go back another couple of pieces actually as it happens. Well, let's just do this. Let's go back here and then do it that way. And then just break these two. Like that. So now we can put a piece of advanced pressure tubing. Where has it gone to? 32 of them. Where are they? There we are. Here. Because as soon as I put some tubing on, that's going to leak, isn't it? So, so if I put some tubing down here. Like that and then we can block it off like this so it's not going to lose the air when we connect this one into it like that try again put it down on the ground like that then they've connected together you see and this should now have a reasonable amount of pressure you see notice that the pressure is lower than it was before and the reason for that is because um, the, the pipes take air pressure so let's put this one onto here like this and then we can put the regulator onto here directly. And you don't need to have anything special with this. It will automatically give you 4.9 bar. So the output from here is only ever going to be 4.9 bar. So then we can simply complete, complete the sort of the circuit, so to speak. Put this one down here like this. It does actually leak out. I wasn't sure whether it would do. So like this. So this is now going up to 4.75 bar as you can see and it won't exceed the pressure in that pipes few so things don't blow up so now the air grates do not use pressure when there's no actually we'll probably have a look up here can we try again oh i can't get up of course you have to press the shift to get up here now because if you're not pressing shift the air vents will start to push you as you see there let me go back up again I'm holding down shift there's nothing happening if I go a little bit to the right and release shift you'll see I'm getting pushed around so let's just go back down here if I can get it it's a bit awkward actually when you've it's getting exactly the right pleasant plus there you go so it's not going to use any air now so I've just come down here and then we can have a look at how the mobs get pushed about So you can see immediately see there's a mob in here and it's a creeper and he's got pushed straight in, into the trench no problem whatsoever he came straight here three hits and that'll get him and of course normally i'd be using the the other tool where if it's gone to the and then you don't get pressed here and the same with spiders when they if a spider spawns you should be able to get him from like that um in fact i'd like to demonstrate that so i'll see you in a few seconds so as you can hear spiders are here so you can now reach these as you can see they're getting pushed down that one isn't actually at the moment but we'll just come back here <laughs> come on get pushed down please but you know also there's no creepers because if there were creepers in here they would be pushed see oops i've press shift and i I'll move out here i can do this as well they are getting pushed in this case they're getting pushed up so we can easily zap what will also happen is that any of their drops will get pushed as well. There's two down here, look. So you'll notice that this, the items are also getting pushed this way. And so we can drop down this one. And the, anything in here will also have been landed down here. I don't think we've got very much from that one. Anyway, I shall see you now back at base in a few seconds. You'll see here there's some oil below this in fact these three blocks here, so somewhere in the middle of this would be a good place to start a new drill so it's one two three four five six seven eight 
three, four, five. Oh, it's going out quite a way. There's 120 buckets or thereabouts in here. So I'll probably set up the drill next time as well. So we, the gas lift is here, and it'll drill down um, and get some more oil because this one obviously had finished. That was up here. Um, and the other one, I actually had another one that also finished. I had about 100 buckets in it. But there was something I didn't show you about that. So let's just go out here. And the reason I'm going out here is I would like to say goodbye by today's accomplishment. I suppose that's the right word for it. So I think here's a good place. So next time it's time to go on and do some armour I think because we've got all the bits we need for that now. Uh, we've also got some, com as you know, we've got to we could do what else can we do yes it's easier to make the um, PCBs now what I didn't show you were the recipes for the capacitors which is basically th two gold nuggets one piece of plastic and one slime ball and the th let's have a look at those it'd probably be easy to have a quick look at those and the transistors are three uh, gold nuggets one redstone and one piece of plastic as you can see that's this one and this one but if you remember rightly that's why i had to go and get some slime balls there's a village here that does trades i think it's three emeralds for two capacitors which is great because that's it'll improve his stats and we'll go and do that anyway oh we'll probably do that between episodes because we've seen them already there was a drone just teleported somewhere <laughs> anyway until next time i wish you all the best bye for now